Hey. Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, good evening, whenever you may be watching this. Today, I would like to guide you guys on how much CBD should I give my pet, right? Uh, we all know that as humans, um, all of our bodies are different and we all react differently to CBD. So some people need less, some people need more. There are so many different ailments, you know, each person is different. Uh, there's always a guideline, which I've spoken about before in different posts. Uh, if you want to know about that, feel free to message me. But, and we say one has to listen to their own body to know where their perfect dose is, right? But we know our body and we can think and do and talk, etc., but our doggies and our cats can't. They can't tell us how they're feeling. They can't say, oh, I feel a little bit tired or, oh, I feel a little bit anxious or I'm, I'm still sore or, oh, I feel great, right? So we have a guideline as to how much you should be giving your pets. So first of all is their weight. How much do they weigh? And then you can give between one to five milligrams of CBD per five kilos, okay? So between one and five milligrams per five kilos of weight of the animal. So if it's a little small dog or a cat or whatever, you give one milligram or five. This is like a daily dose, okay? So normally you would split it into two lots. You follow? But then the guideline of is it one or is it five? What should it be? Well, we can only go on, on what we take, right? Because it seems that there are certain dosages you need for certain type of ailments. So higher dosage, stronger for pain and inflammation and lower doses for anxiety, depression, things like that. So when we're treating our animals, we usually, it's a standard, right? You're usually either treating them for nervousness and anxiety, or you're treating them for pain um, because they're getting old or they've hurt themselves and you want them to recover quickly. Or maybe you're dealing with um, skin issues, you know, that they're scratching and they're ripping out their hair and whatever. So you go for the low dose if you're trying to t t um, treat anxiety. You go for the higher dose if you're trying to treat uh, pain and inflammation. And a mid-range if it's for skin allergies and things like that. Okay? And then what product do you give them? Well, there are the oils, there are the treats, there are the capsules lots of different so really it depends on on how good are they at taking things so the treats are amazing they're super easy they're natural you know i mean all of the products are natural that i work with anyway but you know the treats are great because they do you just pop them in but they're five milligrams so if you've got a tiny little animal they're too big um, and if you've got a really big animal they're too small so then you have to think of the oils because we've got, um, I work with three different strength oils, you know, a two and a half percent, a five percent and a 10 percent. Uh, it explains how many milligrams of CBD there are in each drop and then you work it out from there. So for example, with a two and a half percent, each drop has got 1.25 milligrams. In a five percent bottle, each drop has got um, two and a half milligrams. And in a 10% bottle, each drop has got five milligrams. Okay? So if they have wet food, if they have dry food, you know, do you use the capsules? Either way, there are lots of different options, but at least you know that 
between one and five milligrams of CBD in two doses ideally but a day for every five kilos that your animal weighs okay I hope that helped either way you know you can message me um, you can come and see me you know I'm at, um, for the locals I'm at La Trocha every other Sunday check out the Facebook page the calendar um, book a consultation whatever you need that's what I'm here for and I'll be able to direct you if none of that made any sense uh, okay take care bye